Experts were bracing for the May jobs report Friday, expecting another sharp slide in the economy. But instead, we got something we haven't seen much of the last few months, some good news. A welcome sign for an, a country reeling from the pandemic and the shutdown. Joining us to dive into the numbers, Mohammed El Arian, who led PIMCO for years and is now the chief economic advisor at Allianz. Mohammed, instead of the uh, economy losing 8 million jobs, we actually picked up 2.5 million. Instead of the unemployment rate soaring to close to 20%, it actually dropped to 13%. Uh, two questions. How surprised were you by the jobs report on Friday, and what does it mean? Thanks for having me on, Chris. I was very surprised. This will go down in history as the biggest positive data shock for the markets and the economy. And you saw how surprised the markets were. They surged on Friday, capping a strong week and with the Nasdaq closing at a record high. It was also very surprising to the economists. Not a single one thought that we would create jobs. Everybody expected that the unemployment rate would go up. In terms of what it means, people are still scratching their head. It's some combination of an incredibly resilient economy that's bouncing back, the impact of government measures, including the Paycheck Protection Program, and finally,